Greetings, Anime Game Freak 89. Are you guys ready for the next installment of One Piece games? Is this truly the One Piece game we've all been waiting for to finally play here in the U.S.? Well, considering it's in Japanese and I don't have a physical copy due to the fact that, well, it is only a digital release only. But, are you ready to witness the most awesome One Piece game ever created on the PlayStation 3? Or, maybe simply, it's not really the greatest. But there's only one way to find out. This is my review of One Piece Pirate Warriors for the PSN. Dom! Dom! Pistol! Pirate Warriors is basically a game based on the One Piece series itself. So if you're a big One Piece fan, you'll know exactly where this leads up. But if you're not, this is pretty much a good way to start. But however, I will warn you that there is a, essentially arc skipping. And what I mean is that they skip most important key scenes from the beginning of the actual first part of One Piece. So if you're a really big hardcore fan, chances are you're going to be pretty pissed off about certain story arcs that will be skipped and whatnot in this. But if you're interested, the story starts off exactly sort of from the beginning, but not quite, all the way up to the recent arc, Marine 4. However, a little spoiler for people who have not played the original Pirate War- I mean, not the original Pirate who have not watched the original One Piece, there is a little spoiler at the very beginning of the game, which is a two-year time skip in the, in, the, in the franchise of One Piece. So, I mean, if you don't really want to be spoiled that much, I kind of highly recommend if you want to catch up with it, but if not, hey, be my guest. I warn you, there will be tons of spoilers around. But if you really want a true dose at the really beginning of the series, you might want to just stick with the anime and the manga. But if you're looking for a fun game experience, then fear not. This game itself is still a very kick-ass and fun game to play, no matter what. So, now that I explained most of the story, and I know a lot of hardcore One Piece fans are pretty much going to be going all crazy about how many arcs they skip, let's just ignore all that for the moment, and let's just pretend that if you're new to the series, and if you're just curious, then you know by all means shut this game out. But now, since I covered mainly the story, let's move on to the main aspect, which is the gameplay. As you see here, there are story cutscenes in every chapter to present each key epic event which happens within the story. But now since I covered all that, let's just move on to the actual gameplay, playing one of my favorite ones, of course, one of my favorite arcs of the series, the CP9 arc. Now this is where the true gameplay actually shines, but first, just a little bit of a cutscene. That's pretty epic. Oh, and just to tell you guys right now that there is no English dub track for this game. It's only Japanese sub only. So for people who really want to dub and love the Funimation dub voice actors, well, you're not really going to find it here. Now, what I meant before to say that about a Dynasty Warriors type One Piece game may seem a little bit lame to you, but fear not. This game actually is a Dynasty Warriors game with a twist. What you're seeing right here is an example of a good idea for something that future Dynasty Warriors games should be a part of when it comes to anime style games. Actual platforming and actual puzzle solving. Now, of course, it still contains the same Dynasty Warriors feel, which, as we all know, is the whole beat up this guy, go to point A to point B, beat him up, go on to the next point, beat him up, blah, 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 use all your special combo moves, and there, the end, end of the game right there. But no. Since this is One Piece, and this is, is a long, expanded storyline, this game is pretty much on the entertainment vibe when it comes to that. Now, this is something that the Bleach game actually lacked. The Bleach game actually lacked variety when it comes to um, an actual original game. Basically, if you compare the two, Bleach is pretty much copying, exactly copying off all the other Dynasty Warrior type games. Just going to point A to point B, beating up all the people, and making it to the bosses, beating them, advance to the next level, rinse and repeat. This game, however, does this at the same time, but there are a variety of missions to complete it that are completely different than just doing that. Besides just your typical beating up the guys and going to boss battles, there's also some platforming and puzzle solving in this game, as I mentioned before, that makes this game pretty much even more fun. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this game is also co-op. 
So with the co-op involved, you're really going to enjoy this game a lot, playing with a friend. But the best part is, that's just the beginning. The co-op is also online, so if you want to go online and actually team up with someone, if you're having trouble with certain levels, sure, go right ahead. You know, get someone to help you out and just to go on online. I mean, sure, it's going to be random strangers you meet on the internet, but hey, at least they'll help you out for people who are actually experienced with the game, who actually beat the main campaign. So that's actually a huge, huge plus for people. And again, that's something that the Bleach game for the PS3 lacked again. And that is the lack of a really good co-op mode. It's really a shame, though, that this game surpasses the Bleach game by a long shot when it comes to great ideas. It's a shame that the Bleach game didn't pit that up and just try to copy off every day else that Toei's ever... I mean, Koei, I'm sorry, not Toei. Koei's done when it comes to the Dynasty Warriors franchise. Oh, and what you're seeing here is also combining with other team members. You do this by holding down a certain command. I believe it's the... Oh, I'm sorry. It is the L2 button, and when you held the L2 button, you can use one of your crew members to do their special attack against the crew. Now, what you're seeing here is a little light bar, as you would know. The little orange bar means when it gets full, it gets a special attack. But once you advance through the game and level up and learn new moves, there are more new specials you can learn. Besides the um, the Gum Gum Rifle, the Gum Gum, uh, what was it, the Gum Gum Storm, and of course the famous and beloved Future Gaikon as we all know, the Gear 2nd and the Gear 3rd, which I know everybody uses that move when it comes to newly advanced Luffy when they use them. But I will admit though when it comes to the platforming, there are times where it does get a little slippery and I really do hate the fact that Stuff like this, you know, isn't bad when you're doing when you're swinging, but sometimes it can get very tedious when you kind of mess up a couple times and it gets really annoying really quick. Especially with me, when I got frustrated in certain moments that really just pissed me off, especially when it comes to, like, um, you're just trying to get on a simple ledge seems like sometimes somewhat of a chore. Now, don't get me wrong, the camera in this game works just fine. I'm not gonna lie about the camera. The camera itself is great. I mean, the camera works is fine, the only problem is but it, sometimes when it comes to the platforming, sometimes when it comes to those shots where you have to swing around, especially when there's moving platforms involved, which I will, you know, which, you know, if you play the Alabasta stage, you know what I mean, it gets very tedious after a while, and after that, it gets kind of annoying. But once you kind of master the control segment when it comes to your jumps when you swing, it actually becomes quite easy. Here's another example of how different this truly is when it comes to your typical Dynasty Warriors game. This is actually a perfect example of how the series, re I mean, how the game relives the actual series from the anime slash the manga. In this particular mission, Nami is sick and she really needs to see a doctor before getting to Alabasta, the Princess Vivi's country, in order to save it from total destruction from one of the seven warlords of the Sea Crocodile. And pretty much what you have to do is give her to the country to Drum Island. And Drum Island, you're in search for the uh, doctor, Tarn Tarn Chopper, the talking reindeer who has human-like abilities. But anyways, your main mission here is to carry Nami on your back. As, te how hard it as hard as this may seem and how much of a pain the ass it is, I really do love to actually see how it relives the actual classic, actual moment from the series when you have to put your life on the line to actually protect one of your crew members. I think it's a very, very great example of how it relives itself. So you see what I mean here? People keep saying, oh, it's just your typical Dynasty Warriors game. It's pretty much the same thing like all another Dynasty Warriors game. What makes it so different? <laughs> Trust me, you technically will not be disappointed with the results in this at all. And I mean it. So overall, like I said, now let's talk about the graphics in the game. The graphics in the game, like I said, capture the moments for the anime quite well with beautiful hand-drawn graphics from the creator itself, Ichiro Oda. The scenarios are also pretty good too when it comes to the actual environments from the series of One Piece as a whole. The worlds look fantastic and the way it looks, it's actually pretty cool. And it's really great, especially in the HD era with the PS3, has captured it so lively and so well. And I don't think any other console when it comes to One Piece games captured these levels frames quite well. Hell, not even the Grand Battle game or the Grand Adventure game for PS2 couldn't even do that. But overall, it still looks pretty gorgeous on the HD system and as a whole, a very beautiful anime adaptation game. Now, it's also the music. The soundtrack to the music is actually pretty good. The music for this game is actually quite good. There are 
There are some memorable tracks in this game, but not every track is pretty memorable. The music is pretty good, decent at best, but there's also some memorable tracks, like the stage from Alabaster, for example, that actually has a very catchy tune to it. And it kind of sounds familiar, it kind of sounds like a Dragon Ball Z, uh, Buda it kind of sounds like music you would hear from like a Dragon Ball Z Budokai game or something. Or one of the Budokai game, Tenkaichi games, whatever. That, that's exactly what it sounds like to me, like in my opinion. But overall, the music for this game, you know, still fits for, you know, it does the job good, it fits the style quite good for this game, and the tones for the moment, so I can't really complain much. Now, I would do a voice comparison, but unfortunately this game is only in Japanese, and no English dub. So, with that being in mind, all I have to say is that, well, I would have to say for this one that the Japanese voice cast did still a pretty good job voicing the cast overall. The Japanese cast was always a really great choice when it comes to One Piece. Now, um, sadly, like I said, there's no English dub, no, um, uh, sound English dub for Funimation's voice track. So, again, if you're looking for the dub, sorry guys, you won't be finding it here. And, like I said, don't forget this is a physical, uh, I, I mean, a digital copy, not a physical copy. Only if you're in the UK, there is. But that's not really important, is it? I'm just giving you guys a warning. Oh, just to let you know, it's on the PSN. For people who are wondering, where's the physical copy to this game? There is none. Since now, Bandai was kind of afraid that this game was not going to get an international release, I mean, international release, not how great it would do. Sorry, guys, but there is no physical copy. The game's available on PSN for 50 bucks. Only $10 less from an original PS3 game, but it does its results pretty good. Plus, there's a brand new DLC pack for $15 when it comes with all the costumes, extra scenarios for the characters, and whatnot. It's pretty cool, but I haven't picked it up yet, so when I do, but if it's worth it, let me know in the comment section below if it's worth spending the extra money for the DLC. Overall, again, the Japanese cast does still a pretty good job for each character, capturing their role quite good, just like they did in the TV show. So, yeah, my final verdict for this game is actually, um, overall, this is actually a pretty great One Piece game that I really enjoyed a hell of a lot. I had a fun time with this game. I think I kind of had a little more fun in this game than I did with... Mm, well, let's see, because I did have some fun with Unlimited Adventure 2. While Unlimited Adventure and Unlimited Cruise are pretty good games, I say this pretty much outweighs it when it comes to doing stuff. I mean, both games are completely different, but I still like both in comparison. But if I had to choose when it comes to moments and everything else, um, I would say that this game is actually kind of more enjoyable to me because at least it's a One Piece game that focuses more on the story while Unlimited Adventure had its own story and never focused it except for some memorable moments when the villains come out as bosses. So Overall, I enjoyed this game quite a lot and I think it's even more better than the past One Piece games I played, especially capturing all the key moments. But it's still a shame we still had no English track and I think it would have been pretty good for future characters for people who were excited for it, including me of course. So overall, here are my final thoughts on the One Piece Pirate Warriors game for PS3. Come into my live commentary. For me, it's not so bad. I mean, maybe this will be a chance for a sequel, and then when a sequel becomes made, maybe once the new world gets way further into the series, then maybe the game will get better. Maybe. Unless the series finally ends, then complete a sequel with everything, including key point to key point. Not just like, oh hey, we're just going to skip this for no apparent reason, which... I mean, I didn't mind too much about the art skipping, but there are certain times where it doesn't match up quite good, and I got a little bit pissed off with that, but... Especially when it comes to key fight scenes in the anime and the manga. Which, again, don't know why they skipped that, but whatever. I'm gonna let it slide. This may bother you a bit if you're playing this game. I will recommend this game if you want a fun, enjoyable One Piece game. Playing as your favorite One Piece characters. And not really paying attention too much to the storyline. As long as you're having fun with the game. However, if you're a really hardcore One Piece fan. Who really wants everything into depth. Everything from the very first part of the series. Chances are, you may kind of feel iffy about picking this up and waiting until they actually complete the main story and then finally just going on to the main campaign from there. So it's really up to you and to your choosing. But I do, but do I recommend the game? That's the main thing. Of course I recommend the game. If you're a One Piece fan or just love the Dynasty Warriors games with a big twist, mind you. Remember, 
a big twist in the dice for a game, the chances are, yeah, you know, you'll like the game for what it is. And if you're not a One Piece fan, then maybe you'll still like it as well. Despite some art skipping, this will probably give you a chance to get you into the series. Like, I know a couple people who are One Piece fans and they played it and they really loved the hell of this game. Even if they're not One Piece fans, they really thought it was a really fun game. So overall, I give the score of a 9 out of 10. Despite some issues, I'm still going to give it a pretty high score of a 9 out of 10. Still a pretty good game. Thank you guys for watching. I am Anime Game Freak 89. Over now, see you on the bounce. And... Peace,